Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to give access to a Facebook business page. Before we start, hurry up and check out all the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, uh, the first thing you want to do here is you want to go to facebook.com, log in into your account, and you need to access your actual page. So typically at the top right here, you have the option to switch to your Facebook page. So make sure that you're using your Facebook page here before you can do this. And once you've done that, you should be able to see your homepage here. Just click on your name or your page name at the top left here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to the manage page drawer here. Now look for a professional dashboard and go ahead and click on it. Now in here, go to your drawer again in the professional dashboard section. Scroll down a bit until you see the page access just underneath the your tool section here. Now if you do not see it, make sure to expand the your tool section here so that you'll be able to see it. Now what we need to do here is we need to look for page access. Go ahead and click on it. Now in here, you should be able to see all the access that your uh, Facebook page has right now. Now, in this case, uh, you'll have the option to uh, basically add people with Facebook access, people with task access, and you could also add community managers. So community managers here can moderate chat comments, suspend or remove people who violate community standards. So in this case, and see all admins on this page as well. So in this case, they can actually manage some content or moderate the chat. So if you, uh, for example, you don't allow a specific uh, comment on a specific on your group or your page here, you could basically start adding your community managers here. Now, in this case, if you want to add a community manager, you could go and click on manage and it should redirect you in this section here. Just click on add community manager. And from here, you want to go ahead and start adding your community manager, which in this case, you just need to enter their email. And once you've actually entered their email, it will actually send a specific invite link to their email and they just need to accept that for them to be or in, in this case for them to actually be a community manager on your page here now alternatively you could go to people with task access here go and click on add new and same thing you just need to add their email or name here if they're already following you but in this case you should be able to send an invite to them and they just need to accept that for them to have access to your facebook page and that's about it so, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.